It was the first day my, my session. Okay, allow me to finish first. Because now I'm surprised that there is a session tomorrow. I am surprised, really, because I know that there will be sessions, but I remember during the caucus, the sessions will be discussed a few days before Thursday session. So I'm surprised that right now we're going to have a Thursday session and the agenda is already out and I have not received a single uh, document, Mr. President. And I don't have anything, Was Mr. President. Why the last Monday? May I raise a point of order, Mr. President? Now? The chair. But I'm raising uh, a point Mr. of order, Mr. Mr. President, and Mr. The, the presiding Mr. officer Chairman. did not, did not Can we let uh, uh, the majority leader finish first his uh, manifestation? Or but that's a raise. Statement? I'm raising a point of order, Mr. President. Mr. President, before you answer, I, I'm being tempted to raise a point of order, but I'm not uh, raising a point of order because it appears that only Senator Subiri has a copy of the uh, tomorrow's agenda. I'm a bit surprised, Mr. President, because when they were talking on the sidelines, I asked actually the uh, staff on the floor to give me also a copy because it's unfair, Mr. President, that uh, we are discussing something that uh, only Senator Subiri and the Ama. appears the majority leader uh, would have a copy of this. Uh, because now I'm surprised that there is a session tomorrow. I am surprised, really, because I know that there will be sessions, but I remember during the caucus, the sessions will be discussed a few days before Thursday session. So I'm surprised that right now we're going to have a Thursday session and the agenda is already out and I have not received a single uh, document, Mr. President. Yes, sir. It's a, I believe, Your Honor, uh, well, the good majority sponsor, a majority leader can answer this the question. My apologies. He, the good gentleman is yes, asking, Mr. President, yes, why the, the information of the good gentleman from Bulacan, the entire agenda, including the agreed upon agenda for Thursday, which is tomorrow, and I don't have anything, was Mr. President. Why the last Monday? May I raise a point of order, Mr. President, now? Now that I'm being tempted to raise a point of order. The gentleman from Bukidnon is asking something with, uh, na, na in possession po niya, yung agenda for tomorrow. This representation had not seen or received anything, think, Mr. President. So how can we participate? I think, Mr. Just President, the, uh, this was uh, electronically... Uh, transmitted to all the members last Monday, uh, Mr. President. Last Monday? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Viper President, again, everything. if that's the case, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. may I also ask, uh, Mr. President, uh, did the Committee on Rules introduce changes in the practice of this August Chamber since the 17th and 18th Congress on the releasing of uh, weekly agenda because I remember yesterday the good gentleman from Bukidnon, Senator Zubiri, raised uh, that local bills sponsored were not included in the agenda. The uh, presiding officer and the majority leader noted, however, that these um, measures were included in the weekly agenda. Now, I'd like to point out, Mr. President, if the weekly agenda was given to us Monday, yes. Yes, uh, Mr. Considering or without admitting it was released on Monday, isn't it, Mr. President, uh, the, the Committee on Rules and the Senate, uh, Senate's practice, uh, that this weekly agenda is being released on a Thursday of the preceding week? Am I correct, uh, Mr. President? I think the agreement during that uh, executive caucus meeting was that it should be released on the Monday. Uh, because the Thursday my, my session, the, okay, allow me to finish first. As I will. <laughs> the, I still have the floor, Mr. President. There are following rules. The, 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 Monday, the Monday's release is to cover in advance a notice to all the members for them to scrutinize the agenda as well as to oppose any measure included therein. That was included during that... Uh, Caucus, executive caucus, uh, I think two weeks ago, Mr. President, if I'm not mistaken. And indeed, Mr. President, the agenda for the draft agenda uh, contained all the bills, uh, in including the Thursday, for the Thursday session, which is tomorrow. And if you will just look at your Viber uh, messages, including those given to your COS, uh, indeed, uh, this was 
submitted uh, in advance. Uh, because if it is a Thursday uh, session, uh, Monday is still a, a good notice for uh, the members of this chamber to have a copy of the said agenda. Three day, a three-day notice, uh, Mr. President, is still uh, a good uh, head start for, for all the members of this chamber. I think that's the explanation, uh, Mr. President. May I be allowed to Just respond, Mr. President? Mr. President, Mr. President my, uh, my question is simple. Are we now introducing changes in the practice of the 17th and 18th Congress, wherein we actually release the weekly agenda on a Thursday, on a Thursday of the preceding week. That's all I ask, Mr. President. I think, Mr. President, I answered that. that that's given during a Monday. So uh, it means we are introducing changes, Mr. President. If, I think that I, if the good gentleman can point a specific rule, wherein a wherein a requirement before a session convenes on a Monday that uh, the Thursday before all the agenda items should be released, I think that would be uh, an appropriate uh, point of discussion. But I see no rules. Uh, a practice was, uh, the word practice was mentioned. That's why, Mr. That's President. That's exactly my point. That's why, President. Mr. President, we're now on the 19th Congress. And prior, prior to the start of the session, there was an executive caucus. And upon agreement of the members present during the caucus, and I, I, if I'm not mistaken, the good gentleman was even there. Uh, all agreed that on a Monday, the agenda matter should be uh, submitted. And, and the, there, there was no lapse on the part of the secretariat. It was indeed submitted, Mr. President. Mr. President, but, but we started may I just the, point out, Mr. We, President? I still have the floor. We started with the uh, query coming from the gentleman from Bukidnon. Which and probably I'm raising a point of be, order, Mr. President. Which probably should be answered uh, by the chair. But I'm raising a point uh, of order, Mr. President, and Mr. The, the presiding Mr. officer did not, did not Can at all... Can we let uh, uh, the majority leader finish first his uh, manifestation? Or but that's a raise. Statement? I'm raising a point of order, Mr. President. May we have the, the ruling of the chair? Can I have a minute suspension? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Mr. President, Thank may I, uh, with Thank the indulgence much, of my two colleagues, Mr. President, yes, perhaps sir. it would be better if we would have a policy already, Mr. President, as to whether or not we're going to tackle a, such measure, if it actually fits to our uh, agreed-upon uh, policy here in the Senate, wherein one per province, one per city, uh, Mr. President. So if that's the case, Mr. President, we will no longer... Uh, I uh, schedule the agenda of these measures if they do not fit uh, with the requirements that we have set, uh, Mr. President, uh, here in the Senate. Yeah. I think this would help our distinguished colleague, the, chair per the, 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 the chairpersons of these uh, uh, respective committees, whether it's health or local government committees. So otherwise, Mr. President, it will be redundant. Every single time we're going to have a Thursday session, this particular question being asked by the former Senate President Zubiri will be, will be asked as well. If, 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 if I can only... Uh, I, that's, that's my suggestion, Mr. President. Yes. I submit to the wisdom of the body. Thank you, uh, Senator Joel. What does the majority leader say? Uh, Mr. President, I think the, the courtesy and respect due to an equal uh, branch in the legislative sphere, the lower house, submitting a measure approved on third reading and transmitted to this chamber and referred to a committee, in this instance, the Committee on Local Government. And having conducted hearings, Mr. President, I think the appropriate course of action would be to have the committee uh, make its committee report, submit every, submit every measure coming from the lower house to this chamber, and let this chamber decide uh, so as not to really prevent, suppress the actions coming from a co-equal 
uh, member of co equal branch of the legislative uh, uh, branch of government, Mr. President. We cannot, we cannot prevent the House of Representatives from transmitting uh, approved measures to this chamber. We cannot prevent any committee of the lower house from conducting hearings. We cannot impose upon the lower house a, a suppression rule because we have such a policy adopted. Though, we, though it may probably conflict with some labor laws or be duplicative and redundant, Mr. President, we cannot prevent, uh, out of respect and courtesy, uh, we cannot prevent the lower house from transmitting bills to this chamber. So policies probably would come during committee hearings and let the plenary decide per bill transmitted to, the, uh, to this chamber, Mr. President. Mr. President, let it not appear in the records of this August chamber that we're trying to suppress or in any way disrespect the work of our co-equal branch of uh, the legislature uh, branch of government, Mr. President. What I'm saying, Mr. President, is we have talked about it. So what's the point of uh, um, agreeing to this policy? during that caucus, Mr. President. But again, Mr. President, we can again change our minds. We can uh, discuss these uh, measures one by one despite the fact that uh, we all agree during the caucus na one, one, uh, one holiday per, uh, per province. Because, Mr. President, uh, we have so much holidays. And the uh, presiding officer being the former uh, chairperson of the Senate Committee on Labor would know that... Uh, there's really so much, Mr. President. In my home province in Bulacan, there was a time that there's a national holiday, provincial holiday, city holiday, and town holiday in one week, Mr. President. So can you just imagine the, uh, the, uh, the uh, situation of our uh, business uh, uh, entities in that area during that time? So again, Mr. President, it's good that we can discuss all of this in the committee hearings and in the plenary. That was just a suggestion, and uh, if that is the case, then uh, expect uh, these questions uh, will be raised uh, in all the committees involved, whether it's the Committee on uh, Local Government or the Committee on uh, Health, etc., Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Majority Leader.